Welcome to a new episode of D2 Football Dynasty. Let's get started. All right, now we are taking a, a look at um, the schedule for week four. And as you can see, uh, the Quails are not playing this week. So we're going to uh, be looking at a couple of the um, the other teams, especially when we get to um, some conference games. Right now, we're just going to we're gonna fast forward the non-conference games. And then we're going to show you the uh, conference uh, action. Or should I say, not conference, but should I say uh, Division Two game. And as you can see, uh, the Division Two teams do not did not fare well against the uh, Division One uh, school. But we'll see how they do against each other. Ooh, ooh Florida! Oh damn! <laughs> ooh, Florida! He should be playing the uh, pigeons. <laughs> the Gator ate that pigeon. All right, so we're getting to the very first conf uh, Division Two game of the season. <laughs> and uh, we got the Penguins taking on the Mustang. Uh, and here we go, baby, here we go. Now, I do like the Mustangs uniforms. But I do like the Penguins overall. But basically, uh, of all, I think all the D Division Two teams, I think they're all cupcakes uh, starting out. So, well, anyway, uh, there's the kickoff to start off Division Two play. <laughs> and uh, hey, off to a good start. Uh, Brad uh, with the reception now. Nice reception right there by Hank. 22 yards right there. And then we got a, ooh, got an interception. Alrighty then. And the Penguins now with the ball. Hey, that's a nice catch right there by Gregory. <laughs> oh, holding about not the quarterback head off. Got a sack there, got another sack here. The Penguins are playing some good defense, too. All right, with the ball again. There you go again. Ooh. Uh, the Avarez, Avarez, Avarez with the catch. But uh, neither team seem to be able to really do anything with the ball. Both defenses are playing well. Coming out that eye formation. Look like they were shining on the option there. And the Penguins said no. It's fourth and two now. Then the Mustang come back with a sack right here. So they've uh, been back and forth with the defenses. This is this. And quarterback gonna drop back. Now he's gonna try to run. And he fumbles the ball. <laughs> I don't know. Did he knock the ball away from him or did he knock him away from the ball? And now the Penguins trying to run an option here, didn't work. And so the uh, Penguins gonna try to throw here. Whoa! He, he had a shot at it, but didn't catch it. And Mustangs, like I said, man, some defense on both sides. I don't know if the defenses are that good or the offenses are that bad. <laughs> you be the judge on that one. Running the screen, nice run, nice run, nice cut. Got about four yards, Mr. Hell. <laughs> and another sack on the quarterback, I think. No, no, it was a stop on the fourth down. And now the Penguins got the ball again. And uh, Bobby Wilcox will stop there for a five yard gain. And then I got the first down right here. And Gregory Dixon for 21 yards on the reception. 
So they show a little burst of offense every now and then. The quarterback trying to scramble, but I think he got sacked. Yeah, he sacked for a loss. And nope, incomplete there is fourth and eleven. Twenty seconds left in the half. What y'all gonna do? Nothing because hey, the half is over. <laughs> zero zero. A defensive battle. Just like back in the old old days. And there's a quarterback trying to take off there on the option read. And now the quarterback wants to throw. And he throws an interception. Right into the horse's mouth. <laughs> and the INT baby. And Atari. It was a school name. His name's Atari, middle linebacker. <laughs> now, what parents would name their child Atari? Got to be a nickname. <laughs> Alright, he's going to fake the handoff there and then he's going to toss it there. And I think he's a pitman with the catch. And, and then he's going to hand off here. Oh, oh, the Mustang got something going. Uh, quarterback got stopped right there on second and 14 and third and 13. Got stopped there. He's doing the premium crawl. <laughs> and he forced the Mustang to kick a field goal, which they missed. Whoa. Shank and man. Deep in the third quarter and still no score. A nice run right there by that particular thing. And the quarterback gonna toss it there. He didn't get much yard. Third and two. And whoa, Mr. Quarterback. Boom, stop. And it's fourth and three. Once again, the defense just come to play. And a nice run there. Gonna toss it there. He's gonna get a nice little run right here. Okay, nicely done, nicely done. Chili is happy about that. They like that. Go Mustangs. <laughs> and then, whoa, incomplete. Fourth and seven. The Penguin dance again. And at the end of the third, look at that. Zero to zero. Who's going to be the first one to score in the Division Two matchups? <laughs> And it looks to me like they don't want to score. All right, now here's going to Will Cox with a nice ass right there to Gregory. 29 yards to Mr. Dixon. And then the quarterback, Will Cox, is going to take off. Oh, and they gave him a first down. I thought he was short. Not you, yeah, he was short. Third inches, and they was able to get it there with keys on the pitch. Or the pitch through keys. And then Will Cos with the throw there. Ooh, nice. Nice for the first down. Mr. Hall. <laughs> like boys in the hall. Or well, the kids in the hall. Ah, I forget. And then a toss here to the tight end. Alvarez. And then Mr. Quarterback, he gonna try to scramble here. But no, cutting the backfield. Cutting the backfield. He probably shouldn't have cut back in. So they gonna kick the field goal. And finally, the score <laughs> is broken. And we finally got a score here. Three to nothing. And then the Penguins are going to come back later in the game. Whoa! And they're going to get a, the touchdown by the quarterback, Mr. Bobby Wilcox. And hey, just like that. With a minute left in the game, a minute 04, it's 10 to nothing. And now we've got the kickoff here in the fourth quarter. And the Mustangs are going to, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Look, oh, look at that horse run. Look at that horse run. He's going to take it all the way. Hey, that's the first kickoff return by the, uh, who's that, Marquez? Uh, I ain't going to try that last name. Uh, by the, uh, somebody in Division Two. But, hey, might as well be the horses of the gold <laughs> all the way. I mean, it, it was like, that's like the easiest kickoff return i ever seen. And then they try to onside kick. Boom. And when they get it, Penguins uh, run out the clock. Uh, Mackie with eight tackles and a force fumble. And the Penguins with the 10-7 lead. 
uh, win. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to the second game, second matchup. We got these squirrels from uh, South Dakota AM. And they're getting ready to take on uh, Iowa AM. So you got I am taking on Sadam. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Anyway, you saw a couple of sacks there. And I got uh, one of the uh, leg horns with the run there. And then they're going to kick the field goal there. And the leg horns start off with a 3 nothing lead. And then here comes the flying squirrels. I wish I had to put a red in the uniform. In the, uh, on the uniform, I put the red on the helmet, but I wish I'd have put it on the uniforms as well. You know, like a trim. But they was able to uh, kick the field goal and tie it up. So where to go, flying squirrel? Now here comes the leg horn, and I'm telling you, man, it, it must be me. But every time I see the leg horn, they remind me of. Uh, Kellogg corn flakes for some reason. I don't understand. Oh, he fumbled a putt. Oh, and the Leghorns almost got a got a break there, but they did get an interception right here. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of glitches. Sorry about that. But, and then at the halftime, three to three, and another defensive struggle. Struggle. As I'm struggling to be able to say all that. And somebody cut the lights off on us, but as you can see, barely. I can see. I don't know if you can. But we got an interception here that turned into a pick six by Jimmy Thomas for the uh, Flying Squirrels. Look at that interception. Uh, I'm guessing that the uh, Leghorns didn't play a light bill. But the Leghorns were able to come back with a touchdown of their own with their uh, running back, Everson. And the tied up, so it's ten to ten in the fourth quarter. Little toss there, right there. Didn't get much yards there. And now uh, here's the leg ones going to try to see if they can score late in the game. Mm, quarterback drop back to throw here. Well, he got the first down and he's still running. Came to twenty by the uh, Terrell. And now the quarterback with the throw there. Oh, an interception right there, late. In the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And hey, Ashley Meyer, Mayer, uh, strong safety, he may have just saved the game for him. And he got that late interception. Because uh, the leg ones looked like they was going in for the winning score, but an interception. Woo! <laughs> All right, now they're going to see, uh, excuse me, the squirrels going to see if they can score. Oh, and they throw an interception. And with eight seconds left, I don't know. That was a nice little down, Marcus Galloway. Galloway. With the interception. So with seven seconds left, are we going to have our first D2 overtime game? <laughs> that was quick, fast, in a hurry. And the throw there. Hey, nice catch, but he runs out of time, Cross. You're out of time. You had enough time to call the timeout and kick a field goal. Well, anyway, it's overtime. OT. OT. And the squirrel with the ball first. Nice throw right there. And Chili's like that one. And then the flying squirrel with the throw here. Whoa, nice uh, breaking attack. Oh, he almost got in. All the way down to the one yard line. And then there's the run by the quarterback. Billy Ford. And the squirrels lead. Now here comes the Mustang. Ooh, starting off with a sack. And that's one way to start on defense on the overtime. Now they're going to pitch it off here. And now it's third and 16. Quarterback going to drop back there. Going to throw here. 
And now it's fourth and 15. Quarterback drops back, throw here, it's underneath, not even close. As the uh, turnover and the end of the game, and the flying squirrels with the win. <laughs> and Ashley, uh, three ta uh, tackles and an interception. Play of the game, I guess. And the Leghorns take the loss. All right, now, uh, I believe this is going to be the final game of the, uh, of the video here. But uh, we got the uh, Iowa Tech. And they getting ready to play uh, Fairbanks. Fairbanks, the unicorn. As we looking at um, looking at the uh, standings. Mm -hmm. And we're starting off with the unicorns. <laughs> and struggles with a non-yard run right there. Then uh, Jackson gonna get a five yards right there. And then they're going to get a sack right there. And now here comes the Rain Warriors of Iowa Tech. And what am I going to do? Chili does they like all that. But then, look like we're going to get a sack here. Oh my goodness, what happened there? Looks like you punched them in the mouth. <laughs> but they get a nice throw, nice run right there. Uh, Huffman does the catch. And they catch for uh, Rudolph, Randolph, you know, in the backfield. But I got a nice little throw here. And first and goal. No! We got a fumble. We got a fumble in the unicorns with the turnover. Uh oh, don't feel bad. Uh oh, look like the referee has got a say in this one. I didn't even want to see if that was an actual fumble. Mm, 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 I don't know. And what's the call, Ralph? They gonna reverse it. And they gonna get the ball back. And I would take it's gonna score. And Huffman is in. Touchdown. And it didn't take <laughs> it didn't take long for uh, somebody to score in this one. Well at least a touchdown anyway. Anyway, and so they run the option there. Nice run right there by Jackson. Down five yards. And now the quarterback is gonna fight. I think they're gonna give it to him in the first down. And then he's gonna run here. And they're gonna give him another first down. Unicorn got some nice uniforms. <laughs> at least they're away uniform. I gotta take another look at their home. I, I like Iowa Tech because they are the most, one of the most uh, unique uniforms with the unique shade of color that I was able to get off that logo. I just hope I can transfer these teams over with the new game that's supposed to be coming out. I'm going to try to keep them as close to uh, the way they are now, but you know, may not be possible. Anyway, halftime, I would take seven to nothing. And then to start the second half, is a sack. Look at he fumbled too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but one of his own guys fell on the so. And he throws the interception. And the unicorn's gonna take advantage of that one. Yeah, buddy. And he hit the strong safety, David, with the uh, interception. Boy, he looked kind of chunky for a, for a safety, though. Anyway, the, top, the next play from scrimmage, and Howard with the uh, catch. And boom, just like that, the unicorns are in on the scoreboard. And with the extra point, we're tied up. Sim Sim. And we got a sack there. The unicorns back with the ball and complete down on third down. And the Warriors with the stop. And hey, going into the third quarter, 7 7. And 
Three yard run by the quarterback. Uh, that was on third down though. Now here comes the unicorn quarterback with a nice run there. Spugs, 11 yards. Now he's gonna jump back here with the throw. Whoa, nice catch. And that was Jackson with the 21 yard uh, catch. Now here comes the quarterback. And shoot, they having a hard time bringing him down. Gain of 14. He got 52 yards so far. And then he, they caught him there in the backfield. And they give to the full back, Mr. Clark. And the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking. And they kick the field goal. And it is 10 to nothing, Fairbanks, with 2.03 remaining in the fourth quarter. So now the Rain Warriors are going to see if they can tie it or take the lead. We're down to a minute 40. Uh, Napoleon with the catch. And whoa. First down. Down to 122. There goes the quarterback going to take out that nice stiff arm, man. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Alright. Down to 40 seconds. 40 something seconds. And the quarterback tried to run there. He did get the first down. And now the throw here. Oh, he got it in. 38 seconds. Oh, and the Rain Warriors is moving the ball. They moving the ball. Another first down there. Getting close to the 20. And then he fumbles. But they get it back. Eight seconds left. Got a sack there. Four from 21. And five seconds left. And he's going for the throw instead of the, the field goal. Wasn't able to get it. Turn the ball over. Unicorns win. And that's it. The unicorn. Ooh. Nash with eight tackles, five for loss. Way to go. And now we're going to check out uh, the Quills. And they recruiting real quick. Seeing how they play. So we're going to look at uh, who they trying to get on the team. And Andrew Goldman. Why did that name? It seems like that name comes up in every dynasty. Andrew Golden. Uh, right now, we're uh, looking at who's ready to visit. Uh, and now we're going to set up their visits. And you know it's a quail, so hey, we don't know how good they're going to be. They were, so. We'll put them against the Pigeon uh, and the Bats. No, definitely the Pigeons because they're in the rivalry game. And we don't want to take a chance of playing some of these better school. Like the Crush. <laughs> don't want to try that. That might not go well. Alright, now we looking at the rest of just everybody we're trying to get, trying to recruit. And where they are on the uh, on the list as far as lead over our lead. That's a four star athlete. We might be able to get him. But that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And you have a good one. Oh,